is the sick and sadistic bastard creating these fruit cups? Welcome back to $3 down, ladies and gentlemen. But does anyone else have these problems with fruit cups? And when I mean fruit cups, you know, those are just generic fruit cups that you buy from your from your store, whatever fruit cups. Does anyone else have these problems where when you open up one of these fruit cups, it just sort of explodes. It just projects the fruit juice onto you. Does anyone else have this problem? It's like they're su they're under such pressure that when you finally release it, they can't help but just burst forth in glee, in jubilous gl glee. It's crazy, man. I have to open it while while it's facing away from me. I use it as a weapon, to be honest, dude. Someone's coming to mug me at the in the middle of the night. I got a fruit cup in my pocket. Just aim it at their eyes, open it up, and there you go. Good lord, dude. That's literally a weapon. First time I opened it up, I'm like, oh boy, can't wait to devour this fruit cup. I open it up, blast me right in the face, dude. Blinding me. Like, what is going on with these fruit cups? Good lord. I gave it to one of my friends. He didn't know that it projected as hard. He opened it up, he got splattered too, dude. It was hilarious. But what's going on with these fruit cups? Why are they doing this? I swear they didn't do this before. I've never had this problem, but recently I've been eating a lot of fruit cups because I take them to work. I open it up and this stuff is just, it's ridiculous. The sheer force, the sheer velocity at which the liquid is sprayed out. It's ridiculous, man. It's too much. It's hilarious watching unsuspecting people open it up while it's facing their direction. It is. It truly is. But my God, man, come on now. It's so annoying because it gets all over my fingers and stuff too, because it just burst forth. Why do you have so much juice in there, dude? Well, I mean, I, I guess they got to keep the fruit. I, I guess it acts as like a sort of, a sort of, preserver you know what i mean but good lord they have so much juice in there that it's making the top of the packaging bulge it's like dude come on man good lord what's going on with this stuff it's annoying it truly is you know what i think what i might have to start doing i drink a lot of capri suns too what i might have to start doing is like comboing them while I eat a fruit cup, I also drink a Capri Sun, double up on the juice, but use the Capri Sun straw and poke it into the top of the fruit cup and suck out the juice before I actually open it up all the way. I think that's actually genius. That's actually magnificent. I, I just thought of that just now. I think that's actually a grand idea. When I eat, or I guess drink the Capri Sun, I use the straw to uh to drink the juice out of the fruit cup so that when I open it up it doesn't spray at me. That's beautiful. That's actually wow. That I I gotta try that, dude. Good lord, I'm gonna have to try that. I'll get I'll get back with you on that and see how that works out. That's that's gotta be a pretty good idea, right? You're gonna drink the juice anyway. You might as well drain it before you actually open it up to save yourself the wetness. It's like, dude, that's actually that's crazy. I'll try that. I'll try that. I'll get back with you on that. See how uh so, see how effective that truly is in theory in theory it sounds like a grand idea we'll see how it works out in uh, actual practice though good lord have you guys seen that video that one video of that, that I, I don't know who it is but it's some dude i guess that like he has a line of sheep a line of sheep the animals sheep just lined up in front of him and he's recording them and he's going around and like molesting them. And I'm when I mean <laughs> molesting, I mean he's like going around groping their their ass. Did, did anyone else see that video? Don't ask me how I found that, all right? Well, I guess go ahead and ask me. I'll tell you how I found it. My friend brought it up in a random ass conversation at work. Literally, the most insane thing ever. I died laughing because he just it was so random. He's like, dude. You seen that guy shaking goat ass? I'm like, what are you saying, buddy? What are you saying? He's like, uh, yes, it's an actual thing. It's a real video, but he couldn't remember the name of the, the, the specific name of the video. It took him three days, three days to find that video, dude. And when I finally saw it, I, I, I words cannot believe words cannot describe my disbelief. Seriously. This guy just lined up the sheep. And it's just going around, just giving each of their asses just like a little love tap, dude. Just like a little love, a love jiggle. It's like, <laughs> dude, 
you you have to see it with your own eyes you have to see it to believe it it's crazy man i made a youtube video about it it's on my youtube channel the video itself is on my youtube channel it's included in that video it's crazy man it's so you know what i learned i learned that sheep ass is actually incredibly buoyant for some reason that stuff is ridiculous did you see that you learn something new every day i didn't know sheep ass was so it was so i don't know man did, bouncy well it's kind of crazy it's it's uh, I, okay let, let's stop here we're talking about sheep ass a bit too much but l seriously if you're if you're bored <laughs> if you're bored i guess if, if you're bored and you just need to watch something just something to break up the monotony go watch that dude jiggle some sheep ass i, I mean it, it's safe for work i guess it's safe for work it's actually in some ways it's like it's it's like medicinal you know in in terms of like veterinarianism it's there so i mean uh, if you didn't know that sheep ass was so buoyant and so jiggly you'll know you'll see it you'll see for yourself good lord dude oh my god i went to the store today right after i got off of work i needed uh some more lotion i needed some more lotion and a bunch of the, uh, a bunch of other stuff like some uh, some bath and body nonsense but the lotion i got I went to Kroger's and I use a specific brand of lotion all the time. It's called, uh, hold on, I have a bottle. What is it? I don't even know. It, uh, St. Ives, that's it. St. Ives lotion. This stuff is really good. That's my number one brand right there for lotion. I love St. Ives, especially the, uh, oh, what, what is this? This is, uh, the hydrating vitamin E and avocado body lotion. That's some good stuff, dude, along with the, uh, cocoa. The cocoa and shea butter, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, shea, I think that's how you pronounce it, shea butter, that's some really good stuff, dude, I love, I love me some St. Ives, but they didn't have it, they didn't have it today, so I had to buy some Lubriderm, it's called Lubriderm, dude, I've never really used it before, Lubriderm, I was like, oh boy, I need some lotion, I saw it was only like six bucks, I was like, alright, I need something, I need something, let's see how it goes, I got the, uh, the scentless, pretty much like default lubriderm lotion nonsense i brought it home i took my shower i got ready to use it i put it on and it felt good the lotion itself on your on your skin it feels good it's not greasy or anything it's not oily it's just it's doing its job it's hydrated now it says on the bottle that it's scentless it's odorless that has to be the biggest lie i have ever seen in my entire life in my entire 20 years of living i don't think i've ever seen such a profound lie this stuff stinks <laughs> seriously i i am not exaggerating when i say i completely and utterly dislike the smell of this stuff it says it's scentless but the scent it emits is so pungent and so powerful, it is making my eyes water, and I am contemplating taking another shower just to rinse it off. It is so bad, dude. I don't know what this nonsense is, but I, when I when I read that it was scentless, I thought, you know, okay, scentless, that's fine, that's fine. But dude, it's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad it's so bad and i can't escape it because i put it on my face i put it on my arms my legs everywhere dude and i cannot escape it every time i breathe in i put lotion right underneath right on my lips dude right underneath my nose i every time i breathe in i get a whiff of that lotion and i'm like oh my god oh my god what did they put in this stuff it is the most nasty smelling lotion so what i did what i did what what i did was you, th this might make me seem like an absolute, <laughs> like an absolute douche. <laughs> this might make me seem like a douchebag. I, but listen, what I did, I went to my sister's room and I told her, hey, I just bought a whole bottle of lotion. Just bought a whole bottle, but I'm in a good mood today. I'll let you have it. I'll let you have it if you're willing to trade it. For your two half empty bottles of lotion, I guess half full, whatever. She said yes. I had to I had to keep my excitement under wraps. I was about to jump for joy. So yes, I spent six dollars on this lotion, but I gave it to her and I took her half full, two, two half full bodies of lotion for myself, and those were St. Ives. Those were St. Ives. See, she thought she was getting the better deal. 
because she's getting a full bottle of lotion, giving me the half full ones. But she doesn't know. She doesn't know the stench of that lubricant. I now have the St. Ives lotion. And right now, I have them positioned in a way that so that one bottle is right on top of the other bottle. I took the, I took the little the pumpers off, the pump handles, whatever the hell it's called. I took them off, and I put one bottle directly on top of the other one so that it's dripping down into the bottle that's on the bottom. So that it's combining their forces to make one full bottle. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm looking at them right now. It's, it's been going at it for about a couple hours now. So hopefully, like, by in the morning, it's pretty much just like a one full bottle of lotion. That's my, that's my, that's my plan anyway. So, I mean, all in all, I think I came out pretty good. I mean, I, I, this lotion, I still got lotion all over me and it still stinks. But, I mean, I, at least it'll probably go away by in the morning. But, I mean, if it's still lingering... In the morning, then I don't know what they put in this stuff, dude. This is ungodly. This is absolutely ungodly. Ungodly. I bought a new bottle of body wash, too, and I was enjoying the scent, the smell of the body wash. Now it's just completely and utterly overpowered by the Lubriderm. The Lubriderm, apparently odorless nonsense. Get out of here, dude. Absolute hodgepodge. Jesus Christ. But that's going to do it for me today. But you know what it's time for. It is time to recommend a song before we go. Let's see what we're working with. And by no means am I, am I bashing Lubriderm. And if you like Lubriderm, yeah, I mean, good for you, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, enjoy it. I mean, it, it felt good. It felt good. I, I have no problems with the way the, uh, the lotion felt. But the smell, dude, the smell. Maybe if they have a Lubriderm, uh, a Lubriderm uh, flavor... A Lubriderm whatever <laughs> flavor uh, that that is actually scented. That's actually got like a unique scent, like you know, you know, like cocoa butter or whatever. Maybe it might do a bit better. Maybe, but uh, this one was so just off-putting. I don't even know if I want to try another Lubriderm flavor, dude. You know what I mean by flavor, scent, uh, whatever, dude. Brand. I don't know what it's called, but. Let's see about this song. What are we going to recommend on this fine day? We're going to recommend, uh, let's see, dude. We're going to recommend, I don't know, man. I got a bunch of good ones here. What are, what are we feeling? What are we feeling? Are we feeling some more power metal? Some more death metal? I don't know. I don't know, dude. Hmm. Ooh, here we go. Ooh. This is some good stuff, dude. This is some good stuff. We're going to recommend Barrett's Privateers by the Irish Descendants. Now, if you like if you like Irish folk music, this is <laughs> this is the song for you, dude. If you don't like it, steer far and clear away from this song. Barrett's Privateers by the Irish Descendants. I could do a whole podcast, a whole entire 1-hour podcast. Just talking about my absolute adoration and joy uh, for Irish folk music. It's crazy how much I love me some Irish folk music. I could do a whole podcast about that nonsense and, and about my whole Irish folk music phase that I, that I went through. I went through an entire year of Irish folk music where I just listened to any type of Irish folk music all sorts of Irish bands under the sun, dude. It's crazy. I could do a whole podcast about that, maybe in the future. But that's the song we're gonna recommend today: Barrett's Privateers by the Irish uh, by the Irish Descendants. That's the best version of the song that I've heard. The one that I enjoy the most. There's a bunch of bands out there that sing uh, Barrett's Privateers, but that's the one I enjoy the most. Barrett's Privateers by the Irish Descendants. But that's going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to uh, ooh, share and like, because this will be going up on YouTube as well. Like the video as well. Share it on all forms of uh, social media that you possess. Let your friends know it exists. It helps me out a lot. Thank you very much for listening. Please be on the lookout for the next episode. And I will see you all later. Goodbye.